Okay, our industry is extremely data driven. So many of the basically what we do, we 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 underwrite risk, and risk for us is an opportunity to and we make make risk as a business opportunity. In order to manage the risk, data plays an extremely important role. So any technology that comes with the help of the data and data management is extremely important. So if you if you say so for example so machine learning. A uh, part of the AI is extremely important. The way you are going to use the leverage the machine learning, the because what we do, we do underwrite a lot of policies. The machine learning will be able to do the entire underwriting to an automation level, and we'll be able to able to actually offer personalized solutions to each and every customer. So that's that's a, that's a big one in the in the in the in the technology side. Another technology side is that what I call is a uh, technology enablement for a sales. Uh, Sales. So, what our sales guy do? They do a lot of advisory. So, technology can play an important role in giving an advisory and uh, auto advisory, and that help that will help our sales guy to help the advisory role. So, again, the advisory will come with a lot of recommendations engine, which is suitable to each and every customer, and that will help them to take the. Selling process and custom understanding the customer need in a different level. So I think these two, these are the two three technologies which will help us uh, emerging technology help us to the take the industry to a different level. The maximum investment should not be looked at for any technology investment should not be looked in isolation. There is always a, there is always a tendency to look at in an incremental basis. I always suggest that take a step back and look at at a more of a strategic way. So the the technology strategy should be aligned to the business strategy. And once it is aligned to the business strategy, it will be easier for us to evaluate how that will play out over the next three or five years period. What is the overall how the organization overall benefited from that, rather than looking at in isolation that this technology will give this much ROI and that much ROI. So as long as we understand the the problem statements of customers, distributors, and various stakeholders, and align our technology strategy to that extent, and that will help us to come up. With an investment which is aligned to the future. The point two is that we need to be also observant that what are the new technologies that is coming. For example, I'll give you an example. Chat GPT four is now extremely popular, and everyone is discussing that. The important part of organization is to understand the use cases that may come out from the technology, and how do we leverage that in our on in our overall organization strategy? How it fit that? And that that is the now that is some of the discussion that should happen at a technology strategy discussions and come up with the optimal solutions. So as I earlier said, that we are investing heavily on the AI and ML models because it uh, we have developed a cutting edge fraud model in house which help us to identify the fraud models and at the same time give a customer a superior experience. We will be happy to know that our claim settlement ratio is 99.2 percent. So practically every claim we settle, that we have been able to do because we have been able to identify the fraud at a uh, early level. So that uh, this is one of the important te um, technology aspect. In addition to that, we are also investing creating a data platform, which will ensure that we are able to have a one single version of truth and able to leverage all the dashboards and reporting at the click of a button. So that will help us to get. Further insight of the business and take appropriate actions as and when required by that. In addition to that, we are also working on AI uh, ML model, which will help us sharper pricing the new product that we are going to do, which will be suitable for each and every customer. What we call the personalization to the last level, so we'll be able to personalize the offering for each and every customer by uh, by investing in uh, investing in ML and AI. To come up with the appropriate risk pricing, so these are the few uh, items I would like to cover. I think the first of all, it has been a great to meet with so many bright minds sitting around there and talking about a technology when the technology is a cusp of changing. It's a inflection point. So so many things happening. And today I also mentioned that we, we are we are we need to now take technology as an exponential changes that is happening in the world. And it is a great time to conduct such interview and share the the brightest ideas, exchange the brightest ideas amongst us. So this is one of the first part. Second part is that I think the way we have organized, I have gone through the sessions. The way we have organized the sessions, it will help us to 
to to get to the to the bottom of the issues and bring out the best of the that is available out so i think it is etcio has been doing a wonderful job in ensuring that overall awareness of the technology in the across industries and i think this is going to be a one great addition to that thanks a lot for doing that